Welcome to apps.userfriendlymedia.com, where you can customize the information in your user-friendly media app. Remember, at any moment, you can pause or rewind to ensure that you fully understand this easy process. Let's get started. First, log in by using your registered email address as your username and your telephone number with no dashes or parentheses as your password. After signing in, you will see a toolbar with individual columns on your left-hand side. We're going to start by clicking on Business Info. Start by entering your business name, street address, and phone numbers. You can choose to show your customers your address information by making sure that this is clicked. If the Show My Address to Customer square is not checked, your address information will not be shown to customers on your app. If you have more than one location, you can add more by clicking Manage Additional Locations, found here. For those who would like to take advantage of this feature, you can add a new location and edit or remove any of your pre-existing locations. An important thing to remember is that after adding or changing any information, always push the Save button so that you don't lose your information. By clicking the Business Info button on our left, we can continue editing the rest of the business information found in this column. If you have a personal business website, you can enter your URL here. User-friendly apps will also create a website suitable for media devices by clicking here and following the further instructions. If you have a YouTube video that you would like to appear on your app, you can copy and paste the YouTube URL here. The YouTube URL is found in the URL box at the top of the screen while viewing your video in YouTube. Under the hours portion, you can change your business hours. Your business hours will appear on the app for your customers to see. The business hours consist of your opening and closing hours found here and here. If there are any days out of the week that your business is closed, you can show this by unchecking the checked box here for the days of the week that your business is closed. To help viewers better understand your business and services, you can input any information you would like your current or future clients to know about you here. Your customers can view this under the About Us toolbar on your app. If you would like to change the toolbar name to something else, you can do this by clicking Rename. For example, you can change it to Who We Are and the toolbar name will be changed on the app. The same can be done with the toolbar named Contact. If you click this bar under Category, you can choose the category that your business falls under. For example, if you own a pet grooming business, you would want to be under the category Pets. If you offer a service that requires traveling, you can input the surrounding distance in miles that you'll be willing to travel for your customers. By pushing save and continue, you are automatically sent to app features found on the left hand column. Now that you're here, you'll see a variety of options. The first is appointment scheduling. By having this checked, your customers can schedule appointments through this app. If checked, your customers have a few ways of scheduling appointments. One of which is this. If the second is checked, your customer will be able to request an appointment time and day, and you will be allowed to confirm that appointment. These three are straightforward. If checked, you can send and receive messages, create and send invoices, and allow the ability to deliver special offers and coupons through your app. By pressing the Save and Continue button, we are automatically sent to App Store Description. Everything found in this section will determine how your app is named, described, and searched for in the App Store. Title is the name of the app, and the name that your customers will need to type into the App Store in order to be able to find and download your app. The application name will appear under the App button on the mobile device. A brief description of your app goes here. 
and a detailed description of your app and services on the app go here. These will show up in the description portion when searching for your app in the App Store. The secondary categories will allow you to categorize your app in the App Store. By entering keywords, your app will appear under these keyword categories, allowing your app to be found not only by known customers, but for people who are searching for someone like you. The large store icon is the image that will be seen as your app on any mobile device. Whatever image you put here will show up as your app image. You can change this image at any time by clicking here and searching for the desired photo that is saved already on your computer. Clicking the Save and Continue button, we will automatically be sent to the next portion of the left-hand toolbar called Payment Setup. If you would like for there to be payment options through your app, you could do this by allowing your PayPal account to be linked to this app by clicking here. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can get one by scrolling to the bottom of the screen. You will see that here you can create a PayPal account. After clicking here, follow the easy steps to create your PayPal account. Once you have a PayPal account, you can allow your PayPal to be linked to your app. Your PayPal email address needs to be added here. After all this is done, you can save and continue and automatically be sent to the social media portion of the left-hand toolbar. By inputting your Facebook and or Twitter usernames, you will be allowing your customers direct access to your business Facebook and or Twitter. After pressing save and continue, we will be sent to the next section which is called app images. In here, you will have the ability to design how your app will look for your customers. By clicking here, you can choose an image that already exists on your computer that will be seen as the header on the app. The supporting image will be seen underneath the header. You can choose your image from your computer by clicking here. The login screen background image is the image that will be seen as your customer is logging into your app. You can change this at any time by clicking here and choosing a file that already exists on your computer. After designing this portion of your app, you will see the next section is called Developer Credentials. This section it can only be changed internally from the developers at user-friendly media. Now, the next section we will be going to from the left-hand toolbar is called Services. In this section, you can create a list of services that your business offers. This list can be viewed by those on your app. You can name the service and apply a time that is required to do the service, along with including the price that your service will cost. The Create Service button will save and create the service to be viewed on your app for your customers. If you scroll down, you will see a Product and Service menu. Inside this menu, there is a list of all your created products and services. You can edit or remove any of these products and services in the menu at any time. Now that this is done, go to Deals found in the left-hand toolbar. You can add a new deal by clicking here. Once clicked, you can enter the title of your deal. Under Description and Terms, you can enter the description and terms of the deal you are offering. Under Expiration Date, you can choose the year, month, and day that your deal will expire. By checking the Make Active box, all the above information will be available to be viewed by your customers. If it is unchecked, the information will not be able to be viewed by your customers on your app. By clicking Update, the deal will be added to your list of deals. In this box, you will see the list of all your deals and you will have the ability to edit and remove any of these deals at any time. Now click Appointments, found in the toolbar menu on your left. Here, 
you will be able to create a new appointment and view the existing appointments on your calendar. This feature is especially useful if the box next to appointment scheduling found in the app features in the left hand toolbar is checked. It is in this calendar that you can view all the appointments made from your app. By clicking on any of the appointments, you have the ability to modify or delete the appointments at any time. By clicking invoices found in the left hand toolbar, a list of all your invoices will be shown. By clicking create service, you can add the description and date of the service. By clicking here, you can choose a customer that's already saved in the system. The way that a customer is saved in the system is by them creating an account on your app. The information that they enter on the app will be the information that is saved in the system. If the customer is not saved, you can send the customer an invoice by entering their email address here. Place the amount that will be charged here. If you're going to mark the invoice as paid, make sure that this box is checked. Here you will find the services that you have pre-entered. This allows you to place a check mark on the service or services that were used for this customer. By clicking save and continue, your invoice will be saved and sent to your customer by email. This is a list of all your sent invoices. At any time you can edit or remove them. If you edit the invoice, a copy of the edited invoice will be saved and sent to the customer. Now click the analytics column found on the left hand toolbar. Inside this section you'll see a list of active specials, your total number of customers that are registered to your app, along with the state that your customers have downloaded the app from. If you look at the same line from each state, you will see how many of your registered customers registered from that specific state. If you see a number with no state to their left, it is because your customer registered without disclosing the state they live in. If you click view all my customers, you can scroll down and see a list of each of your registered customers and the information they have disclosed. It is important to encourage your customers to fill out the registration information completely when they register in the app. If you click the message column found on the left hand toolbar, you will see your message inbox. These are messages that your customers have sent to you from within your app. You can compose a new message, reply to a specific message, and delete a specific message. By clicking edit email preferences, you have the ability to receive notifications by making sure that this is checked. By clicking save all changes, it will bring you back to your message inbox.